How cold? Real cold? Stupidly cold? You're not going to like it. Here's all the details. Just a couple weeks ago, I was uh, posting a picture on Interior Weather and Wilderness Watchers, a photo from the top of the earth looking at how much uh, winter coal we had. Uh, looks like it's grown a little bit since then. We're seeing more of that uh, Arctic air taking over the northern hemisphere of the planet. Certainly that's going to be the case for the next uh, week and more. And well, we're in the depth of winter. It's certainly cold this morning here in British Columbia. We look at Monday, 2 a.m. That coal is going to be sticking around. Well, I'm going to be using the GFS model today. The GFS model's got uh, more higher snow predictions and it has deeper coal predictions. The ECMWF model is a little more conservative. I'm not feeling conservative today. Did somebody say minus 45? Having felt some of the cold myself already this last week, I know it's out there. Looking Monday, 4 p.m., that high pressure bulb. Cold, cold night, Monday night. See even southern BC getting some of that purple. Now we'll take a look at snowfall. That high pressure starts to break down. There's a low pressure system up on the coast here, and it's going to be sliding down towards Haida Gwaii. Another one south of us is going to be lashing more precipitation again to get to places like Portland, Oregon, Northern California. Tuesday, 11 a.m., snowing start to develop in the Caribou, north of Fort St. John, sliding southward. Now the north coast is getting it good. Haida Gwaii, lots of precipitation. Snow in Haida Gwaii. My buddy Scotty just picked up his sled. He'll like that. Vancouver Island again, getting the majority of this precipitation. North coast mountains, or north shore coast mountains. Heavy precipitation, rain, rain, lots of rain there. Overnight into Wednesday morning. We see, uh, this is over the course of three hours, nine centimeters in through Whistler. So three centimeters an hour, maybe even higher in the mountains uh, along Highway 20. That low sliding southward, the jet stream pushing it downward. The Arctic air not letting it really just walk straight in. That cold air is still sitting up far in the north. That low pressure system bringing snow all across British Columbia for a number of days midweek. Perhaps not the greatest accumulation in the interior, but some snowfall nonetheless. You can see that atmospheric river trailing that low and slamming into Portland, Oregon again, Northern California. Low sitting right over Vancouver Island Thursday, 11 p.m., 12 p.m. So at this point, this will start moving out and that cold air is going to start taking over. Can see well, at this time Watson Lake approaching minus 30. Friday, Christmas Eve, 2 a.m. Snow now moving southward into southern British Columbia, southeast BC, Kootenays. Of course, Williams Lake, 100 Mile House, getting kind of a skip there, as so often happens on that dry side of the mountains. 4 p.m. Friday, still snowing a little, at least according to the GFS model. Now we start to see that cold weather moving in, though. That purple's all looking like minus 25. Just kind of rewind a little bit and look at where that cold is Thursday, 5 p.m. All across northern sections of all the provinces. High pressure developing in the Yukon. We start seeing minus 25 there. 24s. Somewhere is west of Prince George. 25s, 26. Friday, 11 a.m. That cold is pushing in, trying to win. It's going to win. It's going to be a cold-ass Christmas. You're not going to like it. As cold as anything I ever seen before on Christmas Day. That purple is all cold Arctic air. We see that cold Arctic air pushing that snow down. The warmest weather is where the most snow is going to be at this point. Minus 29, 5 a.m. Saturday. Merry Christmas. Minus 34, Prince George. Oh, it's going to be even nicer than that. Could be in a day or two you'll be thinking minus 30 was a wonderful temperature. High pressure starts developing over Prince George, and that's going to start sliding down to Quinnell. Take it over. 38 below. What? Holy shnikes! 40 below. That's what you want to see. Yeah. Awesome. Happy holidays. Boxing day. Ha ha ha. Merry Christmas. Minus 40 temperatures. 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 38 below. Just like it used to be in the olden days. Awful. That ah, cold air. Sitting right through Alberta to Saskatchewan, taking over Manitoba as that snow squall and system that's in Manitoba at this time starts pushing into Ontario. Yeah, these are ugly temperatures. That's kill you cold, freeze to death in minutes, fingers fall off, all kinds of really bad stuff. You're not going to like it. Find your town on the map there, somewhere close to it. Take a guess, this could be the bottom end of what 
we might be seeing this next week. You look at Saturday, 1 a.m., that high pressure starts developing, minus 40s. You start seeing in Fraser River area from Prince George, all that cold air is going to sink right down to the lowest places. Oh, there's nothing good about these numbers. No matter where you look, you go northward, we're probably as cold as anywhere you can find in Canada at that point. The high pressure sitting over BC, the highest high pressure in Western Canada. Well, in Canada in general, maybe. Arctic air will be rushing right from Siberia, straight over, coming on in. This is the real Arctic weather. You see where that blob of cold air over BC is? Places like Mongolia, Japan even, Kazakhstan, they're all getting winter weather now. Into Northern Europe, even the United Kingdom getting some chillier air maybe than they're used to. Iceland, below zero. Of course, it's called Iceland. You like to see them below zero sometimes. It's going to be Iceland everywhere. 